Okay, let's take a minute and take a look at the orbital notation, electron configuration, basically the electron structure of the electron cloud for monoatomic ions. We're writing the orbital notation, electron configurations, and the electron dot formula for palladium 2 plus. And that means that it's, uh, we have palladium with a 2 plus charge. You write that as PD superscript 2 plus. Okay, that's the way you write the symbol. So um, the electrons for hydrogen and helium are 1s1 and 1s2, and that's what we have here, 1s1 and 1s2. And then we've got the two for lithium and beryllium, 2s1 and 2s2, that's two electrons for lithium and beryllium. Then we get into the p sublevel region, which is 2p. And we're gonna fill that up completely, one in each box. Come back and pair them up. Then we get to three, and for sodium and magnesium here, We've got 3s, and there's two electrons there. Then 3p over here. There are three orbitals in this section, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're filling that up because we've got to get all the way down here and start this fourth period of the periodic table, which corresponds to filling the fourth primary energy level. So that's 4s is where we start. Okay, there's 4s1 and 4s2. There's the two electrons, 4s1 and 4s2 here. Then we're going to drop back an energy level to 3, and this is the D sublevel region here. 3D, and so we've got one, we've got 10 elements in here, so we're going to need five orbitals. Two electrons in each orbital. Two, three, four, five. That completely fills up. One in each box. Go back and pair them up as necessary. Then we're back into 4 when we get to gallium, and that's 4p. So 6 elements, uh, 3 orbitals, 2 electrons in each orbital. And then we go to uh, 5s here, 2 electrons in 5s. And palladium's right here, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight electrons needed when we're writing the ground state atom for palladium. And we're going to do that first, and then we're going to erase electrons the way we did it for the preparation for the lab last week. Well, that's what I'm going to do anyway. I would suggest you do it that way, but as long as you get it right, it doesn't matter so much, I suppose. So I said eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight electrons. If we want two plus, we found out from the lab that we did, that you can remove the electrons from the highest energy level first. Well, that's 5s, and I inadvertently used a pen there. I should have used a pencil so that I can erase it. So I'm going to use my white out here to get rid of the 5s electrons. And that would be a two plus charge. If I'm getting rid of two electrons, we're going to have a two plus charge. And so, so this is not palladium anymore. Okay, the symbol here is palladium 2 plus. Okay? Because if I just leave PD there, this would be the wrong orbital notation. This is the orbital notation for this ion. Does that make sense? Okay? So then um, the electron configuration for this. So here's the, um, the electron configuration. Now remember, anytime you remove electrons, you've got to put the charge on the element symbol. This is not going to be the electron configuration. This is not the orbital notation for palladium, the atom. These, with the electrons removed from 5s here, these are the uh, orbital notation and electron configuration for palladium with a 2 plus charge called palladium 2. So this is the same basically as that. The only difference is instead of putting two arrows here, we're counting those two electrons. Instead of putting the six arrows in three boxes here, we're counting them here. So um, electron configurations are just sort of a shorter version of the orbital notation. And then with the shorthand version, what we did was to take the um, electron configuration for krypton, which is all of this up to 4p6, and replaced it, replaced it with the um, symbol for krypton in brackets. And so we have 5s0 because we removed those two electrons from the 5s sublevel. 
and we have 5s0 here, 48, 48 here. So this KR, the symbol for krypton, replaces all of this up to 4p6. Krypton is the next lowest noble gas below palladium. Palladium's here, next lowest noble gas here. Then when we do the when we do the electron dot formulas, palladium, the atom, would have had two electrons in 5s, no electrons in 5d, so it would have had two dots. When you remove those two dots, well, with electron dot notation, the dots represent electrons. You remove those two dots to get that two plus charge. So this then is the symbol, the electron dot notation for palladium, the ion, palladium two. It's called palladium Roman numeral two. That's the name we're going to use for it. We'll learn more about that in the next unit.